What's up, J1? Head of Hip Hop for Pandora. Here with a young lady who, I'm just going to say she got bars. Mm -hmm. And I am a living witness to this. So I saw you perform live last year here in Atlanta during A3C. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I came to, I forgot what the, the venue was, but I came in there and my man Court, who manages mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. known Court for like 15 years. He's like, yo, got to check out my new artist, Win. I was like, okay, well, who, who's winning? He's like, yo, she's dope. She got it. I'm telling you, she's going to perform next, right? So I said, all right, cool. So, you know, look up on stage. I said, oh, okay. Shit. I don't know who that is. And then he's like, this is when? I said, when? And then you just start spinning. I was like, wait a minute. So I go to court. I said, Corey, she could actually. He said, I told you. I told you. So. Yeah, he's my champion. I, yeah, I, I, was, I was blown away. And um, so you can go first, by the way. Okay. Yes. She said she's been practicing and getting ready for this. I've okay. Been for this. Um, so I, I was blown away. So the first thing I wanted to ask you was mm -hmm. like, when did you just realize you had this talent? Because I mean, I'm telling you, if you haven't heard her, she actually could spit, spit. Thank you. Um, I think if you want to pursue something as insane as like, something in the entertainment industry, you have to be a little bit crazy. Mm -hmm. So I'm crazy enough to think that I could do whatever I set my mind to. Mm -hmm. And so I started rapping when I was nine um, and thought I was really good, and I wasn't. <laughs> um, and I didn't start really uh, writing music since I was 12. And mm -hmm. that's when I was like, I'm going to do this with my life. Like, I think I could be good at this. Mm. So it was around then that I thought... I had it. Okay. But obviously it took a while to get good. So it wasn't something that just like came naturally. Like you really had to work at it. You had to hone your skills. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I have a, a natural talent for like rhythm. Mm -hmm. But if you want to master your craft, you have to spend a lot of time, especially with something as intricate as hip hop and wordplay. Like you have to spend your time figuring out how it works and study the grades. Right. So who who did you study? Um, Man, I studied a Pretty much everyone I could get my ears on. Nice try, try sneaking, but it's all okay. That's all okay. <laughs> um, I studied a lot of Lupe Fiasco. Really? I'm, I'm big on him really okay. early on. Uh, the Cool is one of my favorite albums of all time. Um, I studied a lot of Eminem when I was younger, mm -hmm. a lot of Jay Z, a lot mm. of Kanye, um, a lot of 50 Cent. I listened to a lot of Get Rich or Die Trying when I was really young. Love that album. Um, and man, Nas, once I got into high school, that's around the time Kendrick and Cole started coming up. Right, right. So um, I was listening to a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when Chance was coming up too, and then college, I was. Um, now I'm just kind of listening to everything that comes out because you you start listening to only hip hop. Right. You want to be able to expand, you know. So I listen to a lot of R and B now. I try to listen to a little bit of everything. So I can who, expand who, my who are you checking for in the R and B lane? Ooh, a lot of people I love SZA. Yeah. SZA, I'm, I would love to work with her someday. Um, okay. And Sir is one of my favorites as Sir well. Sir is dope, yes. Um, Daniel Caesar is an incredible talent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, man, so many people. I also I listen to a lot of Erica. I listen to a lot of Lauren. I listen mm. to a lot of D'Angelo. Um, a lot of like old school stuff. Yeah. Which inspired a lot of the, the sounds of the mixtape actually yeah 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 now the mi mixtape was dope um you're currently wrapping up a tour with with, with with earth game what mm -hmm. what was that like man it's been incredible this was my first tour and uh we're we've, we're six weeks in tonight's the last show mm -hmm. and i've i've learned a lot i've i've heard horror stories about openers and headliners and oh, i never see them they're an asshole to me and <laughs> I've, i feel very spoiled that that was not my my first experience on tour everyone has been incredible I've, as the the youngest and the only woman i've gained a lot of new big brothers mm -hmm. um you know lucky to have Olu watch the set and give me tips and uh while great to introduce me at the end of the show every night bring me back out and say yeah. you know, like, give props to the openers that, that's big they always share their space with us let us come sign autographs with them like it's been really dope what was the best tip that uh they gave you um I mean, honestly, really, it's a, a Earth Gang and a JID thing. They meet everyone after the show. Mm -hmm. They they stay out there and sign every autograph, shake every hand that wants to shake theirs. And the first night, 
I was planning on doing that as well, but I went over to my merch table, kind of in the back, mm -hmm. and uh, Olu came up after me. He's like, hey, where were you? And I was like, I was just meeting people at the back. He's like, no, nah, like, come up on the stage. After mm -hmm. I set, we're going to call you back up, come up there, meet everyone, um, and adding acapella moments in the set. Um, because I'm so focused on bars, you really want yeah. people to hear those, especially when you try to win people over. So, Ab that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, now that the tour is wrapping up, what, what is next for you? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. oh. Uh. I knew it, too. Uh, I've been watching that spot like I'm not going to go there. And look what I just did. It's all, it's all good. It, happen uh -huh. it happens to the best of them. This is what I do. But See, this is what they do. They distract you with the interview questions. And then they, and he's sitting there all calm like this, and I'm like this, so trying like, to think about. And like your craft. I had to practice on this, because when I first did <laughs> yeah. this type of interview, it was with Yellow Beezy, and he beat me thoroughly. Because I'm yeah. like focused on my interview question, right. and he was sitting there like this. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's all good. Well, and, uh, and, then, and he just beat me like, gotcha again. Yeah. So I had to. I had to master the craft, yeah. but, <laughs> but uh, well, I'll, I'll give you another chance to redeem yourself. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we'll run that back. <laughs> but give, yeah, my, give me my yellow coin. There, there you go. There you go. Um, the hardest part for me is picking these little things up with my nails. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now that the tour is wrapping up, what what are you working on next? What's the what's the next phase? And the next phase is uh, is I'd love to put another project out. Don't quote me by you know, before the summer, middle of summer. Mm -hmm. So it's got to add five months to whatever you think it's going to be. Mm -hmm. But um, that, I'd love to play more shows. It's fun to have a new aspect of my career. Mm -hmm. I spent 10 years locked in my room learning how to be an MC. Wow. And now I get to go out and play those songs for the people who allow me to do it. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, I'm very competitive. So every night it's like, I get to figure out I can win new people over like what could I do better what am I doing wrong what's working what's right. not so playing more live shows is definitely on my radar dope dope now you're from Portland right mm -hmm. I'm from a suburb outside of Portland called so, Costa Rica. okay but, yeah. okay thank you thank you Portland. for the correction yes and you actually got a big cosign from somebody who's mm -hmm. a big star in his own right. Hold on, you just went twice. Right? Oh, <laughs> you trying to speak me? Y'all saw right. that, right? So I'm distracted with the question. It, it, it's all good. It's all good. Um, Damian Lillard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shouted you out. Yeah. And uh, you know he's he's a lyricist himself. He, he, he claims he's the best rapper in the NBA. Do you think that? Absolutely. Okay. Yes, I do think okay. That. Have, have you ever met him? Yeah, no, that's like that's my that's my mentor right there. He's, really? Yeah, he's given me a lot of game, mm -hmm. um, taught me a lot. Um, he actually came out when I dropped my first kind of official single called Buzzer. Mm -hmm. um, I shouted him out in the last four bars, and he came out and showed up in the video, helped us move props. You know, wow, like, super humble dude. And we had been on our radar to work together for a while. And I had a, a record on my project called The Thesis. Mm -hmm. um, that we had him hop on. It was like a Portland cypher record. Yeah. Um, so he hopped on that and you know, he's he's just a good dude. Yeah. He's, he's someone who's solid. He doesn't really let any sort of fame or accolades get to him. Like yeah. he's, he's always kept his word with me. So I have a lot of love for him. That's what's up. So so have y'all ever had like a battle between the between y'all? No, but we should. Yeah, y'all should. So okay, I'm I'm about to get you again. But ah! who do you think will win between you and, and, and D Lillard? See? I I, I know I me. Was <laughs> <laughs> me, I would win. You would win? Yeah. Okay. Damian Lillard. He spent, whatever, 20 years perfecting the basketball craft. That's true. I spent not as much time because I'm only 22, but, you know, you put your 10,000 hours in into hip-hop. I beat him. All right. Bring it on, Dame. Bring it on. The challenge has been made. I just got to my L. I just it's all like good. This. It's all good. Um, you, you're definitely a spitter, but not a connect for a player. I'm mad. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes. <laughs> now nah, we. Uh, I appreciate you coming through, hey, having this connect for, for connect for conversation. Don't feel bad. You're in good company. <laughs> I, I I beat a lot of them. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now nah, if you if you're not up on win, please get up on her because she is a true lyricist, a true artist. Mm -hmm. She, as you can see from this conversation, she is very dedicated to the craft. Mm -hmm. It's not just something you playing around with, like. Mm -hmm. She studies this stuff. So if you're going to be an artist, you need to study. You need to put the time in. You need to put the hours in. Right. So much success to you. Right, thank and you. and I'll give you a rematch one of these days. Let's when do you it. Come, when you come back I'm to coming back. All right. <laughs> we gone.